Welcome to another Pencil 2D tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to use copy and paste so that we don't have to keep drawing the same object over and over and over again in every frame. So for this example, maybe I'll try to draw a person, a very um, basic version of a stick figure character. So we'll draw some arms here. <clears throat> and we can even draw something happening on the face. And if we don't want to have to redraw this every time, like we can go advance to the next frame and then very, you know, very carefully, we can zoom in here and trace this, but instead we could copy it. So I'm going to go back to frame one and I'm just going to go to the selection tool right here and left click and hold till I've selected everything. I've made the selection large enough to capture the whole character and I'll go up to edit and go to copy. So that will copy this. And now when I go to paste, I can go to the next frame <clears throat> and I can go to edit paste and it will paste that exact same character in the exact same location. But now I could move it. So I could just go to the move tool and it's still selected. So if we move this, we see the other character is behind it on the previous frame because we have onion skin turned on. And so we can move the character a little bit. And then also maybe that onion skin's bothering us. Now we can turn it off and we can change the facial expression by just coming over here. And maybe we erase the part of the smile here and erase what's happening with the eye. And then we can uh, redraw part of that, that eye getting a little bit different. And we can redraw the mouth in a different position. And now we can see what that looks like between the two. Turn off this. <clears throat> and then we can do the same thing. This is still, uh, we still have the selection area here. So now we can go to uh, edit and go to copy. And we can add a third frame. And then we can go to edit, paste. And we have a copy of this one, so we can come and move this again slightly and turn on onion skin if we want to, to see, to make sure we're moving in the right direction we want to. Turn that off again if, uh, if we want, and then we can do something different, maybe erase, maybe have the, the arm moving in a different uh, direction slightly, and we can have the legs moving too. We can erase and have these legs be uh, pivoting a little bit or bending, I should say. And so now we have something a little bit different thing going on. We can loop this over and over again and see what it looks like. So you can see we have the starts of animation, but we didn't really have to go through and redraw everything. And you can imagine the more complex you're drawing, um, the more useful this would be. We can also paste this character if we wanted to have multiple people in the background. Oh, um, that's a problem. We pasted this on the wrong frame. So let's go to uh, no, and I'm gonna go to add another keyframe and then we'll go to edit. We can also use the paste tool to get multiple of the same object. So not just for moving. So I'll paste this and I'll just uh, move it to a different location here. And then I can redraw another selection over here and I can go to edit paste and we'll paste this within there. And then we can move this and we can do this as many times as we want it and have multiple characters or multiple of the same object. Also, if we didn't want to move, we could cut. If we wanted this to be in a different frame, we can go to edit cut and it will cut that and we can move to maybe frame 12, add a keyframe in here and go to edit paste and it will paste that in the same location, the same drawing, but now it's not in this frame anymore. It's over, it's over in this frame. So we can use it to move objects from one frame to another as well. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna talk about here for now for that. Um, we can also do, if ever uh, under here, we can clear a frame. If ever we get too many things in here or we, we get it to a, a point we don't want, we can just clear the frame very quickly also under this edit menu. And the same button, there's a button to do that too. It's this recycling bin icon here. It just clears the whole frame, but just that frame. It's, uh, things that are drawn on other frames will still be there. Uh, well, hopefully you found that informative. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and leave your questions below if you have any. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.